Number 20, a car battery with a 12 volt EMF has an internal resistance of 0.05 ohms is being charged with a current of 60 amps. Note that this process, okay, blah, blah, blah. Letter A, what is the potential difference across its terminals? Or in other words, the terminal uh, voltage. So um, check out, I guess it was number 18. I don't really remember. Um, but um, I think I, I went through one of them pretty much in detail. Um, so what we have to remember is we're finding now the terminal voltage, the voltage supplied over these two terminals. Okay, VT, question mark. Now, in order to find that, I can use my formula over here on the right-hand side. This tells me that the terminal voltage will be equal to the battery's EMF, which is a voltage as well. It's just kind of like that theoretical max or whatever, minus then the current flowing through multiplied by that internal resistance. So we know the EMF. They told us it's a 12-volt battery. All right, now minus, the thing is, though, for a battery that's charging, this is going to become a positive. Ooh. So this formula over here on the right-hand side, this is for when the battery is supplying some item with electrical energy. If the battery is being charged, just simply take that and turn it into a plus. Okay, it's as simple as that. So now plus then the current, which was 60 amps, multiplied then by the internal resistance, 0 0.05. Now consider, take a look at the other problems like I was mentioning, I solved it differently. But I'm just showing you a different flavor now. So 12 times 60 times 0 0.05. Nope, 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 nope. 12 plus 60 times 0 0.05. 15. So 15 volts. That is the um, potential across the terminals. That's the terminal voltage. Okay, 15 volts. That should make sense. Right, the battery's EMF here was going to be 12 volts. And then the difference, the 15 and the 12, there was 3 volts lost. So three volts was lost to the internal resistance. Three volts, okay? So letter B. Um, at what rate is thermal energy being dissipated in the battery? All right. So thermal energy, what we have to think about here is it says thermal energy being dissipated in the battery. So we want to then consider from the perspective of inside of that battery, right? So let's write it on over here. So if we take the internal perspective, then we realize that the current flowing through the insides of the battery is going to be 60 amps, right? And the internal resistance is then going to be, as they told us, 0.05 ohms. So what is the thermal, what is the rate of thermal energy? Hmm, rate, energy, rate of energy, power. Oh, is this just asking me to find power? Yes. So how do you now relate current and resistance? Well, it's I squared times R. And that's simply going to be now 60 squared times then 0 0.05. This is inside the battery. That's what they're asking. So this is just 60 squared times then 0 0.05. So it's 180. 180 watts. All right, letter C. So at what rate is electrical energy being converted to chemical energy? So again, rate, so they're talking about power. Okay, now what we have to consider here is we want to consider now at what rate is the electrical energy being converted into chemical energy, okay? So in other words, what we have to do is we have to look at now from the perspective of what is the potential needed to charge the battery? So that potential needed to charge the battery is going to be the EMF of the battery. So I now know the voltage is 12. The current is still the same. That's gonna be 60 amps. And power is now what the question is. So how do I relate the three? Piv, P is equal to IV, P is going to be equal to 60 multiplied by 12, and we're going to get our answer of about, what is that, 720, okay, watts. That takes care of letter C, all right? Letter D, what are the answers to A and B when the battery is used to supply 60 amps to the starter motor? So what the heck was A? What is the potential difference across its terminals? So now it's the exact opposite. So basically, like I was mentioning before, all you're going to do is you're going to take this equation and I already, I didn't even convert it there to the plus, but you're gonna leave it a minus this time. So literally just get a minus, put a minus, and solve your new answer. So it's gonna be 12 now minus 60 times 0 0.05. So it's nine, nine volts, boom. And then letter, and then it's saying B, what rate of thermal energy being dissipated in the battery? Uh, so that should, uh, that should be the same because we're still talking about the internal voltage we're still talking about the same current, so that's going to be still 180 watts. 
Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can. We really appreciate it so much. We truly do appreciate your support. Uh, without you guys, this would not be possible. So thank you.